Welcome back, Far Fam. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. We have a fun and exciting video. We are going to be chatting about one of our favorite Disney resorts, Animal Kingdom Lodge. We recently stayed there for five nights. So we're going to be talking about the things we loved and then some of the things we didn't like. All right, so let's start off with the pros and then we'll work our way to the cons. And at the end of the video, we're going to be giving our total rating on would we stay there again and rating it out of five stars. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys want to check out our full vlog when we were there, check it out. I'll put it down below. Starting off with the pros. So the first pro of staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge is one of our favorites, and that is you can see so many animals. They have them in the savannah, so in the back of the resort. Um, we stayed at the Jamba House. Jamba, yeah. I yeah, think. Jamba House. And this was towards the back. We aren't 100% sure on Kadani Village, so we're kind of doing it from the point of view from Jumbo House, mm -hmm. and that's the most common yeah. like building that you'll probably stay at. But at Jumbo House, the savanna is in the back of the towards the back of the resort, and they have a savanna lookout where you can see giraffes, zebras, those like ostriches. antelope, yep, yeah, ostriches, antelope, like some like other little birds. Yeah. But the animals were super super cool. We woke up every single morning, walked out of our room, and there was just like a giraffe eating. Yeah, it was so cool. And when you stay there, you can really get two different types of rooms. Mm -hmm. You can get a savanna view, or you can just get a basic room. Mm -hmm. We just got the basic because we went to a lot of parks, and mm -hmm. honestly, you just walk out your door and you can see them right there. But this the one. Savannah View rooms were more expensive, yes, so that's also something to think about as well. But you don't have to have a Savannah room to enjoy the animals. Animal Kingdom Lodge has a ton of seating for you to view the animals all throughout the entire day and night is when they are most active. Yes, it was so crazy. Lindsay and I, we were sitting out just kind of relaxing. Mm -hmm. The sun was setting. It was super pretty and beautiful and these drafts started running and it, it was, was like, like the, five giraffes it was the craziest thing i will put a clip in it yeah, i'm sure it's kind of hard to see in the video but you have to believe us and know that it was it was amazing. so cool and i've never heard them or even seen them run so mm -hmm. it was crazy to hear like their steps it was so cool mm -hmm. and it made it worth it for mm -hmm. sure so the second thing that we absolutely loved is obviously animal kingdom lodge is close to animal kingdom so if you're going to animal kingdom it's less than like a five minute drive i feel like in the bus it's super close to it so if you're going to animal kingdom you might want to stay at animal kingdom lodge the next pro for staying at animal kingdom lodge is the unique theming our room the lobby the entire resort was african themed with beautiful architecture mm -hmm. and paintings and just so many amazing african artifacts yeah it was so it was so crazy yeah. they had things from different tribes and yeah. it, it was so cool and someone said this could be wrong but there's more things there than like in like the smithsonian or mm -hmm. something or close to it anyways yeah. but it there's so many artifacts it's incredible another thing that Lindsay and i absolutely loved was there was a ton of things to do there you can eat at all the restaurants there you can go to the arcade go swimming in the pools mm -hmm. look at the animals just walk around the resort because it's absolutely beautiful yeah. they have chairs everywhere and at night they also do a bonfire oh, yeah. we did not do that because just every single night we were so tired from going yeah, to a so park busy, or something so, so we did not get to do that but it we could see the bonfire yeah, they in the daytime huge. Yeah. yeah and I, I believe they have s'mores there too so mm -hmm. if you have kids it's kind of fun. yeah there's a ton of things to do if you have kids here and even if you don't have kids me and Carter don't have <laughs> we any kids loved it. and we loved it but if you do have kids they will love it as well there's yeah. a lot of things to do so the next pro is kind of to go along with the unique theming but there is super nice rooms. Yes. We just got a standard room. Cheap room. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing and crazy. It was absolutely amazing. The bathroom was beautiful. Mm -hmm. The whole room was beautiful. The bed was comfortable. We had a Keurig, mini fridge. Yeah. Everything you need mm -hmm. for like a nice hotel room. And if you guys want, I'll put a video for the room tour down yep. below. So go ahead and check that out. So we just had a standard room, so we and we loved it. It was oh, awesome. It was so, so I nice. can't even imagine what the more expensive rooms oh, are I like. Know. You walk in and you hear like the tribal music mm, from and, the TV. Yeah, the it's smell. so cool. We loved it. Something that is literally 
soaked into our brain and like our nose is the scent of this resort. <laughs> yeah, it's so it was nice. just like therapeutic almost, and like <laughs> yeah. it was awesome. It was cool. Another thing that Lindsay and I absolutely loved was there is several restaurants on site, so you don't have to leave the resort. There's Boma. There's Sana. Yep, Sana. There's. Jocko, I believe. Yep. Jaco, Jocko. Yeah, something like that. Another, but one. And of, there was also a quick service. There was, yes, near the pool. So if mm -hmm. you want something, you know, that's a little more American. One of the one of the things with these restaurants is they are more African themed. Mm -hmm. Other than Boma, which is the buffet that has a little more flexibility. Yeah. But we loved it. We ate at Boma, and then we got the bread service at Sana. Sana, yes. Awesome. We actually had so this time around when we went we got the breakfast and that was a 10 out of 10. Oh, it was great i loved it we have videos that we will leave down below yeah. going to boma and then also back in the springtime we went and did the boma dinner as well mm -hmm. carter loved the dinner i, loved the I wasn't dinner. a big fan just because i was picky yeah and we also have a boma review that we will leave down below yeah. as well but there's a ton of restaurants you can choose from the quick service is great for late night snacks yeah. oh we ate the pizza yeah. they had like these shrimp and chicken bowls that mm. were good that i loved but yeah. it was good and it's right by the pool so if you're swimming at the pool all day mm -hmm. on like your rest day from the park you can just go right over to the quick service yeah. and get a pizza and you can mobile order it too mm -hmm. so if you're at the pool and you don't want to go wait in line you just mm -hmm. pull up your phone mobile order it go grab it and Go eat. Yeah. Now, the next pro can also be a con mm -hmm. depending on your style and your preference, but a pro might be for you is that this resort is not super Disney mm -hmm. and super kiddie. You honestly would walk in and not even really think it was yeah. a Disney resort just because it's so African themed and there's a few Mickeys here and yeah, there. Yeah, hidden Mickeys. Yeah, and... they'll also have like characters come like we saw Donald Duck, yeah, Chip, um, and Dale. Chip and Dale. I think Goofy, Goofy, maybe. I think so. Or Pluto. Daisy. And yeah, Daisy. Yeah. We saw we saw some characters. So honestly, when you walk in, it's not super Disney. Mm -hmm. So you may like that. I that could also fall into a con as well. Yeah. If you have super young kids and you want more of that like Disney. Disney. <laughs> then maybe yeah. like art of animation is yeah. the place for you. But if you aren't super into Disney, maybe you're adults or have older kids, this would be a great resort. Great resort. Another great thing that Animal Kingdom Lodge had was large pools, which is nice. And they did have hot tubs comparing to like we stayed at Art of Animation, mm -hmm. which didn't have hot tubs. So going there, it was always nice after a long day to go back, relax mm -hmm. in a pool with some space and then go in the hot tub. Mm -hmm. And then they do have a little slide. Yeah. So there's two different pools. There is a pool at the Kadani Village mm -hmm. and that's just like a standard pool. I believe yeah. it doesn't have a slide. It does. It does have a yes. slide. Okay. So it does have a slide. Jumbo House the one that we stayed at had a big pool mm -hmm. with a slide that I went on once. Carter I went, went on down a few times. way too many times. <laughs> Carter was like the only adult going down, <laughs> yeah. but it was it was funny. It was fun. So the next pro is for those who have younger kids, and that is they have a playground. Honestly, at well, when we went to Art of Animation, they were building a playground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they didn't really have one, which was fine because our nephew. Yeah, Probably wouldn't have gone and there was a anyway. lot at art. I felt like there was a lot of like game, more games outside yeah. with like grass pads. Yeah. And so Animal Kingdom has a great playground for your kids if they are kind of waterlogged, don't really want to swim yeah. anymore. This would be another great option to keep them entertained. Along with the playground is they have an arcade. Me and Carter did not play any games. No, normally we do, but yes, not this but time. we honestly didn't have time. I don't know why, because we were there for five days, mm -hmm. but we did not have time to go to the arcade. But if it's like rainy now, or if you've been in the pool all day and yeah. you want to change up what you're doing, the arcade is a great place as well. And it's right next to the quick service restaurant and right outside the pool. One of the things that we absolutely loved was the resort is a little smaller, so you don't have to like walk a thousand miles to go to the pool. If you do want to go to Kadani Village, you can go ahead and take the shuttle bus that runs, I think about every 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Something around there. It does end and start at a certain time. I don't remember the exact time. So we'll put you it can, like right here. So yeah, or you 
you can call the front desk mm -hmm. and ask them. We actually did that one morning. We weren't yes. sure when the buses started. So we called and they let us know and it was, it was great. So the resort is big, but everything is around the same area. So mm -hmm. you don't have to walk as much as like you do at Art of Animation. Art of Animation. To go to the other side is like a 20 minute walk, yeah. I swear. <laughs> so the last pro that me and Carter could think of was relaxing views. We kind of touched on this before. Mm -hmm. We saw so many different lookouts that you could relax on. They had like balconies oh, yeah. and little huts. And on the walkway to the Savannah, there was like uh, rocking chairs yeah, and so swings nice. and things like that and you can always find a seat we went in june yeah so we kind of went in the off season and we had no problem finding any seats so we're not 100 percent sure on like peak seasons around like christmas and spring mm -hmm. break but they had a lot so i'm sure you could find something all right so those were all the pros that Lindsay and i could think of now let's talk about some of the things that we don't like about animal kingdom lodge and there is not very many that we don't <laughs> there like really about animal kingdom lodge. so the <laughs> first thing that Lindsay and I could think of is it's a little farther from some of the other parks. Like we said, it, it is close to Animal Kingdom, but for Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Magic, mm -hmm. it's a little bit of a drive. And honestly, you have to take the buses to get there, mm -hmm. so it could add some extra minutes to your commute. If you are not planning on going to Animal Kingdom, I would not suggest going to Animal Kingdom Lodge because there's not really any point. If you are planning on going to Animal Kingdom, the theme park, I definitely suggest staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge, but we went to Animal Kingdom in mm -hmm. Epcot, and Animal Kingdom was so quick, mm -hmm. and Epcot took like, 15, 20 minutes. Longer than that. Unless it was just a weird time when we were, when we went, but I remember it being a hmm. really long time to go to Epcot, because it, honestly, Epcot is on the total opposite side. I think it's the farthest Hmm. from Animal Kingdom. Really? Mm-hmm. That in Hollywood Studios. That's something to think about if you're not planning on going to Animal Kingdom. So the next con that hits hard for me because <laughs> the Skyliners are my favorite things, <laughs> yes. but Animal Kingdom Lodge does not have the Skyliner and neither does Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom, like the theme parks. So that whole side does not have the Skyliner. Mm -hmm. The Skyliner is like Caribbean Beach Resort, Art of Animation, Pop Century. Pop Century, Hollywood Studios, Epcot. So more the other direction is the yes. Skyliner. I love the Skyliner. You oh, love the Skyliner. So nice. I know Jace, that was like one of his favorite things. And I highly suggest trying it if you've never done it. Yeah. But if you're like, oh, we've done the Skyliner, you yeah. know, then maybe you won't really care. But that was like kind of one of the biggest downfalls yeah, for me. We went from Art of Animation uh, which was super easy to get around because we went from Art of Animation to Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And so when now we had no Skyliner, it was a huge difference because mm -hmm. it was extra time for the commute, especially with the 40 minute drive. Yeah. Kind of wasn't the greatest. Another thing that we did not like is this is a expensive resort. Comparing it to other resorts like Pop Century or even Art of Animation, Animal Kingdom Lodge is definitely going to be more expensive and more pricey. It's considered a deluxe resort, so you have a lot more things, but it's just more expensive. Mm -hmm. With a deluxe resort, everything is nicer. You mm -hmm. can definitely tell that this resort is a deluxe resort. So if you are looking for a deluxe resort, this is a great option because it's not one of the most expensive, but it's also, you know, a deluxe resort. Yeah, so it's, it's on nice. the lower end of the most expensive. Yeah. So you know, your rooms are nicer and things mm -hmm. like that. And so that's something to think about. And everything felt like updated. There wasn't like mm -hmm. anything that I felt like, oh, like that needs to be updated. Yeah, everything was, was really nice. Yeah. So we mentioned this before, but another con that could be a con if that's your preference is that there's not a ton of Mickey mm -hmm. or Disney stuff. So if you do have younger kids, like I said, maybe you want to go to a resort that has more Disney decorations and yeah. things like that because you won't really find this at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Yeah, especially like we said, coming from like Art of Animation where mm -hmm. you pull up and there's Nemo and yeah. Little Mermaid and you you feel like you're in Disney. Yeah. Here you feel still at Disney, but it's just not. You feel like an African resort. Yeah, it's, it's way different. It's a way different experience. The next con is that Animal Kingdom Lodge doesn't have a huge water park. It does have two big pools and two slides, 
But compared to like Art of Animation or the Riviera or Yacht Club mm -hmm. or the Boardwalk, the water park does not yeah, it's... compare to those because you just have a big pool and one little slide, which mm -hmm. Carter went on a few times. Yeah, he I liked went it, on. I but liked he it. He got bored of it. Yeah. I got bored of it after one time. Yeah. So there's no splash pad. There's no huge water slide. It's just like a tiny, it's mm -hmm. really not even that big and it's very slow. Yeah. So if you're looking for a resort that is like a huge water park, your kids, you know, love slides and things like that, maybe uh, Animal Kingdom Lodge isn't the resort for you. Yeah, and we came from Art of Animation, which yes. had a large pool and a splash pad, but no slide. So I know yes. we were super excited to have a slide, yes. but yes. it still wasn't as good as some of the others. The last thing that we did not like about Animal Kingdom Lodge is it is harder to resort hop. For mm -hmm. us, we love to go experience other resorts, get the Mickey beignets mm -hmm. from Port Orleans and do other things. It was just harder to do just because you have only bus transportation. Yeah. When you have like a Skyliner, you can literally just get off of the Skyliner and mm -hmm. go to other resorts. But for us, it was just harder to resort yeah. hop. I could see if you have a ton of younger kids, you probably won't be resort yeah. hopping as much. So it's okay that you're farther away from those things because you just won't be going to a ton. It was just me and Carter. Mm -hmm. So we just resort hopped all day <laughs> yeah. and it was fun yeah but i think that would be hard if you had a you know a couple younger kids so it might not be that big of a deal for you all right so now that we kind of covered the pros the cons now let's answer that question of would we stay here again mm -hmm. so for me absolutely i would absolutely love to stay here again i loved it i thought the theming was great i thought the the slide was cool the restaurants were great and i would highly recommend it yeah i would definitely come back to this resort obviously I would like to see some other resorts, but this, honestly, we are gonna be back loved, because yes. it was so amazing. It was such a great experience, so I would definitely go back. And if we were gonna give this thing out of five stars, I think we both agree mm -hmm. on 4.8. The only draw, major drawbacks mm -hmm. was the no Skyliner mm -hmm. and that it's a little more expensive. And I would say, like, you're only really close to Animal Kingdom. Yes, yes, yes. And so it's kind of harder transportation, but we still had a great time. It <laughs> didn't really matter, it, yeah. so. So guys, that is it. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll put links to all of our videos when we travel to Animal Kingdom Lodge and Animal Kingdom and Epcot <laughs> down below. So if you guys wanna watch them, enjoy it, and you guys can see our trip and the things that we did there. So we'll see you guys later. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.